one other thing I want to tell you about is Sahuna teaching that says to connect with your higher self, you need to become like a child. And this is apropos to talk about because have you ever played checkers with a, uh, a six-year-old and they don't care if they win or lose. They just want to play with you. And so this practice you're going to be doing is like that. You're not supposed to care how it works out. You're not supposed to care whether your higher self is right. What you're supposed to do is just play and have some fun with it. And in the process, you're going to get some very, very lovely experiences that you will love. You're going to be asked to set aside your pendulum and your um, muscle testing and your kinesiology for the time of the practice period. Now, um, it doesn't mean you won't ever use that again. What it means is that you wouldn't learn French and German at the same time. And so we're setting aside all these other tools that you use uh, to predict your future and to help you make decisions. In the end, your higher self is going to be so accurate that you're not going to want to use these other tools. But I don't want to tell you not to use them. And if you're a therapist and you already use these tools in your healing practice, of course you want to continue to do that. But don't do it for yourself. Use the protocol the way it was given. If you follow the protocol as it's given, I guarantee to you that your higher self connection will be so pure and so accurate. And remember, if you're not following your higher self 100% all the time, you do not trust it. And what this tool will do is take you to that level of trust you no longer have to trust, you go to knowing. Now, here's an example of a story from a woman who uh, had her higher self connection and she was a, um, she'd gotten her black belt in karate. Um, and she was over 50, so she was quite proud of it and going to practice every week at a studio that was about an hour from her home. On one particular Monday morning, she left her home at 7 a.m. because she wanted to have an hour extra on top of the drive before her 9 a.m. class in case she could talk to the teacher. So three times while she was on the drive, her higher self said, get off at the first exit. Each time she used her logic and dismissed it. No, 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 the first exit takes too long. The second ex exit is much faster, more direct. And of course, the third exit, impossible, it's all the way around the way. So <laughs> she passes up the opportunity. She blows off her higher self information. And she gets to the second exit and there are men working in it and they close it. Yeah, so now she's forced to take the third exit, which means she has to go all the way around the city and backtrack. She was late for her 9 a.m. class after driving for two hours and her teacher did speak to her, but only to tell her 50 push-ups. So she got a chance to speak with the teacher, but it wasn't the way she wanted it to work out. 